but even then, as heavy a character as Bowser and as large, he's going to be easy combo food if uh, Xander can get any kind of opening, really. Now, this one for sure, Xander's got to watch out. Xander's got to watch out for when for when Bowser has rage. Because especially on right. these platforms, if he can get one of his uh, Bowser side Bs right into the very top top platform, it's going to be killing pretty early. Yep. Oh, nice little trick telling him, telling him don't be shield happy. <laughs> So early on here, Plague getting quite a bit of offense in. Started off pretty even, and now we're just right back to it after that limit. Mm -hmm. I believe Plague is ranked 8th in Wisconsin? He is ranked 9th. 9th, okay. Under Inuit. Anyway, okay. Okay, and does not get clipped by that fire. I have learned also, I have learned also that jabbed into uh, Bowser uh, down B is actually a true combo. Mm. It's a certain percent, but it is, it is, a, it is a combo. Let's get him with that down tilt. That down tilt is crazy, crazy strong. Trying to clip him. Xander making it back. And the up air. Yeah, that's going to do it. Up throw, up air. The coupa, I believe, is what they call it. <laughs> Every single grab uh, combo has to have a stupid name, I guess. Yep. Ding dong for, for Donkey Kong. Uh, Beep boop for Rob. Hoo ha for. Di it's everybody. So Xander definitely going to be looking to take this first stock off of play. Going to be a hard time with Bowser. Yeah. He's he's not I feel like he's gonna get limit eventually. Okay. There we go. And Xander playing so much more patient than earlier. Cross will definitely Just waits for Plague's first mistake and capitalizes almost to its full potential. He's being oh. a little he's being a little hasty. I mean I'm not i I'm not used to seeing uh, Z two G play that way. I'm not used to seeing him uh, maybe it's the fact that they played each other, I'm gu I'm guessing a lot. So he's trying to he's trying to not to be as patient, just maybe try to mix him up. And the back air, not going to quite be enough here. He's going to get hit with the uh, climb hazard, though. Yep. I didn't know what that move was called. Just for right now, uh, Plague's got this match pretty under control. And Plague Xander's going to have to find an answer for this Bowser. Yeah, and Plague really doesn't lose lose much, especially for saying... Oh, he didn't have oh, a jump. Oh, it didn't have a jump, so... Xander concedes there. Game one going to Plague pretty yeah. convincingly. Yeah. He doesn't really have much to lose just by hiding in shield, too, because Cloud, he's going to get a grab, and the grab yeah. isn't going to kill, especially on Bowser and Battlefield, unless he has rage and he's at crazy high percent. So it's not, he's not really losing anything by staying in shield. He's just going to eat more percent, and again, it's Bowser. Bowser's still going to be able to kill, like, at 50%, if he's near the edge. So taking it to FD. Xander's uh, sticking with Cloud here. I think he likes this basic, basic battle. I don't think... Maybe he doesn't like Lucario in, the, in this matchup, because... Maybe he thinks some things will trade, and Bowser will just win the, win the trade off that. Trying to get the up tilt to up smash. Yep. And oh. again, Plague just all over. 71%. That's stringing off of just one combo and a couple jabs. Yep. Bowser also hits like a truck, and when they gave him that kill throw, he just got a lot better. Throws him off stage. See what, see what Edgeguard is going to have. Tries to recover high. He's going to eat some percent for that. So Xander getting a little bit of offense in here. I also like this uh, this counter pick by... Ooh. And... I think, oh, wow. I think Limit kind of hurt him there because because yeah. he was falling heavy. Because he was heavier, he was able to get that connection up there. It was a 50-50, though, so... Well, this is how the game game went before, but he wasn't able to take off the stock, and then uh, and then Plague just got a lot of damage on him. Xander just not having an answer for this Bowser right now. But it's also one of those things where it's like you don't really see that that many high level Bowsers. I mean, there's like no, Lord Mix, uh, Vinny, and Lord Mix. Just about. Yeah. Mm, that's just about it. I mean, you also have uh, what's his name from MDVA. I've seen I've seen him play on uh, on VG boot camps. Ooh, Ooh. A little preemptive. Well, the on down that. smash does take it. Mm -hmm. So now the this truth. game looking a little bit more in control for Xander. He's definitely going to have to try not to get hit as much as possible. Oh yeah, Latruf is the one though. Latruf is the uh, just is the even one hit is enough to rack up enough damage to where he'll be at kill percent. He may be at it right now. And I was really happy that wasn't a down B. That would have broken shield. I believe he was trying to read the tech roll back in on his down throw, mm -hmm. but he can still they can still jump out of that, so maybe he was maybe he was just thinking that he was gonna go back in. Because up smash still covers a little bit on the other side. 
Gets him with the dash attack, see if he can get something started here. He is sitting with stage control. When Bowser's on the defensive, he cannot he cannot do that much. Oh and the up smash, not enough. Good DI. And to your up smash. At this point, Xander just has to avoid being grabbed, running into a random smash. I kind of like the fact that he didn't actually use limit there. Just because of the fact that like I feel like he can chip, chip on a little more. Oh, we're seeing a lot of rolls come out of CCG right now. And now Xander getting this back in control. Has an opening here. Gets the limit in the... Oh, man. The finishing touch is going to finish it off. Xander bringing game two back. And now we have a tie. 1-1. One, one. Good stuff from Xander. It not, looked, going, not going yeah. for the guaranteed damage. Thinking you, You've done a couple down airs. And I'm guessing that if you're going to try to do it to mix, mix me up, I'm not going to fall for it. And I'm going to get you with that finishing touch. Right. Smart Play, stuff Plague by Xander. looked totally in control there and just lost it on that last stock. We're probably going to... I'm guessing we're, we might see a Town and City counter pick, or or probably uh, never mind uh, Battlefield or Dreamland. Or he won on uh, Battlefield, so he, he might have banned Dreamland. Yeah. So maybe Town and City. He wants to find something with a kind of a higher platform to see if he wants to get that side B kill. Right. That's what I'm thinking right now. So let's see where Plague's gonna go. Looks like they might run it back, oh, and he's going to switch to Greninja this time around. Oh. And are we going to see an FD stage? No. No, we're, we're just going to see FD. Them. Let's hope. They're just running it back. Never right. Mind. So run back is in. Three, two, one, go. Let's, see, the Let's see if Xander will have an answer for this Greninja. Plague Looks Greninja, like one of the best in Wisconsin. Recently, well, in the last season's PR, had been outplaced by Marlink. And now, back on the PR again at number nine this season. Xander, of course, number four. Xander, Xander a very smart player, that's for sure. Yep. Gets it, starting to get something going right now, and he has limit. If he can get a little, if he can get an up tilt or a short hop up here, he's going to be able to get a lot of damage out of that. He will have to watch out, though, because Greninja's counter is very good. Oh, yeah. And if, if, I believe I believe uh, when I was playing, he uses it and kind of goes... The way that he continues it up is like up at an angle. The Water Shuriken is going to make yep. him have to use that use a, uh, limit on the Climb Hazard. So See, Plague he, still kind of in control, but not nearly as dominant as before. Eats that forward smash. As a heads up for people who do not know, that forward smash you can SDI down and away, and you can get out of it, but you have to be very good at S you have to be pretty good at SDI. Good empty hop to bait out the air dodge. Oh and no, he's not gonna make it back. Great edge guard so by first play. stock going to plague here in game three. I remember when I was talking to Plague, he, he, he does say that uh, some of Greninja's best combos are started by Nair and also by footstools. That was a nice little uh, trick right there. This is kind of say back off the ledge. So Xander still has to be careful not to rack up too much damage before taking the stock. At 39% now, still very doable, but has to take the stock off. Cross slash. Oh, oh, gets the tech after the first hit of the down smash. And Plague saying that he didn't try to do that. <laughs> but hey, he got it. He got so it. So his stock stays safe for now. Gets it, hit him off stage. 146. And up air's gonna, up air's gonna do it. So here we go, 50% extra credit for Greninja here. Plague definitely going to have to keep control. That was his big problem last time. Limit is gone. Oh, that's oh. what he was looking for. That's what he was that, looking for. Oh time. no, he makes it and back! And he still gets it back, he does not finish the edge guard. Having some side conversations about aerial mobility over there. And the up smash, not going to take it yet. Got the sweet spot up smash on that, too. Ooh. I have seen Plague do a... Uh, if, if Z2T keeps air dodging, though, Plague does have a nice uh, that setup. Not for the... Oh, ooh. he runs into it, and that's it. That's it. Plague takes it over Z2G. What I thought was going to happen is that Plague does have a setup where he does an up throw. 
and he, and he double jumps, and once he, sees the, once he sees the spot dodge, he actually uses Shadow Sneak. Mm -hmm.